Hey, how are you? So I got a little bit done on this corner. I'm not exactly sure that I'm going to keep this cabinet. You may remember this cabinet was just sort of hanging out in space here. And I flipped it sideways, put it on the wall. And what I'm doing now is throwing a lot of these odds and ends uh, into the storage bins with the idea that I'll use these to make frames. Over time, I'll just keep going to this bin, making frames, and then eventually make paintings to fit into those frames. This cabinet here, I'm going to paint this green like the rest of the cabinets in the shop. And I, I, may, do the, I may do that this week. Uh, also dressing the cabinet up with a little molding at the bottom and a little bit of a crown at the top. And then this is new, you probably haven't seen this. It had a piece of quarter inch plywood over it. The, I had to replace this wall of the barn about four or five years ago. And when I did, I framed out for a fan, for an exhaust fan. So when it gets real dusty in here or real hot, I'll be able to turn the fan on. So I might even get this done this week. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I wanted to answer a couple of questions about the welding storage table. A few people were scratching their heads on the wheels. And I, I knew I was going to get that question. No, the wheels can't roll on the gravel. This table was in my basement. I think I built it maybe 10 or 15 years ago. And it was just a work table in the basement. So we'd push it around the basement. Uh, but I do like having it off the ground a little bit. And so I'll just keep the wheels on it. And if I do want to move the table, I'll probably just kick some plywood under it and move it to a place that it will stay uh, kind of stationary. Um, the piece of trim on the bottom of the top of the tabletop is a drip cap. As the water goes off the tabletop, it will kind of roll around the bottom. And if I didn't have that drip cap there, it would keep going into the cabinet. Now it hits the drip cap and then falls to the ground. Uh, do you plan on welding? I don't really plan on welding on this table so much. And if I do, I'll probably put a piece of steel on the table and then weld on it. Uh, but I think that I'll do most of my welding on the ground or on the little table behind me or over in the corner there. Uh, why do I always use a paintbrush for painting? I, I often use a paintbrush because I just don't feel like getting the roller dirty. And this is an oil-based paint. And uh, the roller, when I'm using an oil-based paint like this, I'll paint and then I'll wrap it up in wrap the paintbrush up in saran wrap and put it in the freezer and it's still in the freezer because I want to get another coat of paint on the doors and also on the plywood really on the whole table and uh, I plan on doing that over the next couple of days how old is the welder that welder was given to me by my boss at the woodworker I've, I've mentioned before I worked for a place called the woodworker in Wayne New Jersey and we're gonna visit him maybe in the next two or three weeks I was talking to the talking to him on the phone the other day. We're going to take a ride up north and uh, take a look at his shop. He's also a painter, so maybe we'll look at his artist studio, and that should be fun. But he gave me that welder years ago, and he probably had the welder for maybe five or ten years before he gave it to me, so I think it may be as old as, as 30 years. And the last question was, what uh, rod was I using? That was a 7014 rod. And uh, that's a nice rod. It's easy to get a, a nice bead with that rod. I don't really know that much about welding. I really just use it for uh, sculpture and, and decorative things. It's not like I'm building a bridge or doing something that has to be very structural. So uh, I, don't, I don't have a lot of good answers for welding questions. Now, I, I thought it'd be fun, too. I'm going to take the camera and put it uh, up by the beehive entrance because I don't know, if, if you live around this part of the country, your allergies are probably killing you. Mine are killing me today. And that's because there's just this uh, thin layer of pollen on everything. And you can see the bees, they take the pollen, and this might be kind of fun to show your kids. They gather the pollen on their back legs and they're constantly going in and out of the hive. And a lot of them will have different, uh, usually orange and yellow uh, pollen on their legs. So I'm going to end the video now and just put the camera on that beehive and you can tune out whatever you like. I'll see you soon.